Hello everybody, it's Colin with the Knox County Fire Bureau and today we're going to be offering a bit of a pro tip. Now as your smoke alarms start to get to their 10 year service limit and it's time to swap out the entire device and that's the device that's either powered by your home's electrical system with a battery backup or those standalone devices that are just powered by a battery they need to be swapped out the entire unit. Now, take into account that your home may also be heated by gas or maybe a wood-burning fireplace or you're using gas to cook your food. In those particular cases, you need to also have a carbon monoxide detector. Now, the best way to incorporate the need for a smoke alarm and a carbon monoxide detector is to have a combination device. So today we're in my home and we're going to go and take a look at some of the benefits of having a combination device as opposed to two individual devices. So let's go up the ladder and take a look at the combination device in my front hall. Now up here we have what appears to be just your standard smoke alarm, but in actuality it's two devices in one. So let's go ahead and take it down and we'll take a closer look at it. Remember when you go to remove these, do it carefully, twist a quarter turn, and make sure that you're undoing that clip with the wires from the ceiling if your device is powered by your house. All right, now that we have the device off the ceiling, let's take a little bit of a closer look at it so we know what we're dealing with. As you may notice right off the bat, it doesn't look any different than a standard smoke alarm, but it hides a few little secrets for us. The first thing you can tell is, is that on the front of it, there's two openings as opposed to the standard one. And that's because it has both a carbon monoxide sensor along with the smoke sensor in the same package. The benefit immediately is that you don't have to have two things on your ceiling. Just one fits in the same bracket, uses your home's same electrical service along with battery backup to keep you protected 24 hours a day. So, that's your first incentive. The next thing is, is that this is now a 10-year device. Following the manufacturer's listed instructions and changing it out, noting the service date on the side, and remembering to change out your battery every year, this device will do well to protect you from both carbon monoxide and smoke in case of a fire emergency. The other difference between this and your standard smoke alarm is the fact that it talks to you a little bit differently. This one has an audible component to alert you, depending on the type of alarm, smoke versus carbon monoxide, what your emergency is that you're experiencing. So let's take a second and listen to what the smoke alarm has to say. All right, now that we've had a chance to hear both of the warning messages from the smoke alarm, understand that whether it be carbon monoxide or smoke, each one of them will have their own distinct warning tones. In either case, if the alarm activates, whether it be carbon monoxide or smoke, please activate your emergency plan, evacuate your home to your safe meeting place, and call 911. The effects of carbon monoxide poisoning are dangerous and they can be life-threatening. We're gonna go ahead and give you a list of the symptoms to be watchful for in the description of the video. Remember, if you do burn wood in your fireplace or use gas to heat or cook in your home, you need to have a carbon monoxide detector in your house. And that's one on every floor of your home if it's more than one story. A great way to do that is with a combination device. Using your existing home's wiring if they're wired or even just a standalone combination device adds that extra layer of protection to keep you and your family safe.